everyone welcome to heel charm shine in today's reading we are going to see when will you meet your future spouse so it's a tarot timeline video uh, i think you guys know what tarot timeline video is this is something which i came up on this channel this is not something which you will find on other channels this is something uh, so unique and so much fun to do it's a bit lighter than the regular tarot readings uh it's some it's like a game it de definitely feels like a game but you know what the fun point is that these predictions come true i have done so many tarot timeline re readings for my clients i've done it on this on this channel itself there's a whole playlist and you can go in the comments and check out yourself the timelines work they do work you definitely get an answer so we are so the 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 only rules about this is that we look for within a year time so only in 12 months so if it's going to happen in 12 months when it's going to happen and uh, again uh, it depends on you you can pull it closer or you can push it away because it depends on how you are manifesting if you are going into an, into a place where you are talking negative about it or when you are feeling negative about uh, more more than uh, feeling i'll say that if you if you are talking negative about it chanting about it affirm if your affirmations are going in the opposite direction then you are pushing it away and vice versa so let's see what uh, signs are coming up for you and then we'll go for the reading these are the cards which i consider as my soulmate cards ace of cups two of cups four of wands the lovers the hierophant the sun the star the moon the magician the empress and wheel of fortune so you have to the like wait till one of these cards come and that will be your timeline you'll know once we start this let's go ahead and see what signs come up for every pile when are you going to meet your future spouse when are you going to meet your future spouse so we have capricorn sagittarius Virgo and Leo Capricorn Sagittarius Virgo Leo for pile number 1 pile number 2 is Pisces Taurus Aries and Cancer and pile number 3 is Scorpio Gemini Aquarius and Libra So these are the signs you can pick as per the signs as per the numbers whatever is um, whatever you're comfortable with and if a reading doesn't match whatever is going on with your life if it doesn't feel like your reading you can always shift to another pile or another reading because this is for general this is for a lot of people so many energies are mixing up over here and because of that not every message is going to suit everyone a part of some reading might suit you a part may not and if you want specific messages for yourself you should go for a personal reading those are amazing those always blow my mind how amazingly they uh, match with my clients like they just tell everything so perfectly that i always get positive feedback that yes they got the solution or they got the answer and they are very happy with the reading now let's go ahead and start with pile number 1 when will you meet your future spouse and we are also going to do some characteristics where we are going to uh, use handmade cards to find out some qualities about this this amazing future spouse so let's start with pile number 1 from pile number 1 so in today's reading we are doing a tarot timeline video where we are going to look for soulmate cards uh, if you are if you have been here before you know what this is and if you are new year i'll just explain in a minute it's very simple it's something i came up with and it's something which you will see only on this channel it's so much fun i just stumbled upon this technique when i was reading for a for a client when i was doing a personal reading and it and it worked out so well that i started using it for more clients and when when i started when i got that assurance that this technique works then i started doing it on youtube as well it's fun it's quick it's lighter than the regular tarot readings and i enjoy doing it because how accurate it is so we have uh, signs over here which are capricorn sagittarius virgo and leo you can go as per your sign or as per the number if it is calling out to you 
and if it doesn't feel like it's your reading you can always sh switch to another pile or another reading as this is a general reading part of a reading will suit you and part will not because it's mixed energies energies from many people if you want to know about your particular journey your you want your specific reading you can always always come for a personal reading so this year this month i'm going to give a discount again after the extremely mind blowing success of february valentine's day personal re, uh, discount for personal reading i'm going to do another per discount not as much as um, like i did for the valentine's day i'm going to do something like spring special uh, new beginnings kind of a discount spring is all about new beginnings so new beginning is about uh, for for you in your life be it your career be it your love be it anything anything you're looking for so the discount is 25% off on my personal readings now let's see and uh, i'm i'm going to give keep it only for this month uh, next month onwards it will be the same so yeah i you know what to do you please uh, may get, send me an email and you'll get the details so what today's reading is it's so fun it's it feels like a game it is a game actually which which comes true which is more fun because it comes true so we have these cards okay soulmate cards which are which i consider as soulmate cards uh, ace of cups two of cups four of wands the lovers the hierophant the sun the star the moon the magician the empress and wheel of fortune so we are going to look for any of these cards and that will be your timeline we'll go for at least three timelines uh, because not our, every timeline is going to suit everyone and we are going to see within a year so tw within 12 months let's see uh, what comes up for you when will you meet your future spouse if you have not met them yet if you have met this person already so when it's going to move forward when it's going to move into something more serious okay so and again as this is different technique the um, cards do not mean the same in this technique we are just looking for the soulmate cards other kinds cards don't matter in this let's go for timeline for my pal number 1 when will they meet their future spouse if they are already with their future spouse when is it going to get serious within the year within the year that is what we are looking for within the year three timelines at least oh wow this is a, this is four of wands this is the marriage card this is the soulmate card so you are already so for those who are already with the person with your future spouse it's a com confirmation it's a confirmation and this month itself within this month something is moving something is shifting things are getting serious you might get engaged they might um, or you might start living together or you might start talking about the wedding or something like that might meet parents something is moving forward this month itself for those who already know your person let's see what more timeline we are getting for those who are not in that situation another timeline we got this is also a soulmate card so this is six so we got this month itself then within six months that is second timeline now let's go for a third timeline oh this is a this is our third timeline so 6 7 8 9 10 11 so three timelines are within this month within six months within 11 months those are the three timelines for you pile number 1 which is a very very nice timeline you got sometimes i don't get the timeline in the first spread itself and i have to go again but with you it's quite clear that it's happening within this month within six months or within 11 months take it as it resonate not every timeline is for everyone so for some of you it's going to be within this month for some of you is six months for some of you in 11 months now let's go for some oracle advice and then we'll go for some uh characteristics handmade cards characteristics we'll also do
stickers today because you guys love stickers. I know that. Even in my personal readings, I get that message. You know, can you do stickers for the personal reading so that then you get your personal stickers, right? I got, I get that message. Yay! I have my personal stickers, and it's so cute. It's so much fun. Okay, seeking good, number two, number seven. So we are getting another timeline over here. Please note down these timelines. They are they they are so much fun, right? So number two, number seven, which is nine. So you got one, you got six, you got nine, you got eleven. Look for good in your current situation. So right now you might be feeling a bit disappointed, a bit uh, lost, a bit like it's never happening, it's never moving forward. Nothing is changing. It's always the same. So right now you are being told. to look at something which is good something which is positive like there might be 10 things negative about your situation but there might be one thing which is positive and the more you focus on that one thing the other things will start shifting from negativity to positivity as well so whatever the good is it might be that uh, you and your person don't have time for each other but maybe it's because you both are busy building your career so you both are building a very uh, nice life and it's going to be a very comfortable life for you in the future whatever it is try to take positive out of it like my my husband used to work uh, 3 days from office and 2 days from home earlier and i would really enjoy his company i couldn't do readings at that time when he was home but i would enjoy his companies and i would uh, love making something special when he's home uh, but now he has he his doing something some important project and he has to be in office every day and that actually made me feel bit sad earlier that oh no i'm going to miss you but then i looked at it in this way that hey i can do more readings now hey i can uh, focus more on my writing there are more things which uh, things i can do when he's busy i'm busy and that is going to help us build a good future for us that's going to build, uh, help us build a comfortable life together so i do feel like you have to start seeing good into something which feels like bad right now but actually it's good for you it is going to it is going to turn good for you so take that message and take the timeline as well let's go for some more message about your future spouse any information about pal number 1's future spouse any information about pal number 1's future spouse oh shape shifter transform and unveil your gifts again shape shifter is giving me that energy where you have to shift the negative into positive or try to see there is a silver lining of to every dark cloud try to see that that is one message second message is that we can see a unicorn over here and we can see so many animals over here animals might be important for you maybe you both will have a pet together or one of you already has a pet or both of you have pets or you love animals or somehow your uh, working with animals might be a part of your journey so when i got this card for one of my clients and i said that you're working working with animals is something and she told me that i'm studying to be a veterinarian and i was like oh my god that's how amazing these cards are right so if you're studying to be a veterinarian and i found i saw that in the cards that's amazing that's beautiful so you that, something like that working with animals or or helping animals or even if you want to get lucky maybe feeding strays or uh, giving to charities which help animals will also earn you some brownie points towards your karma towards good luck and help you manifest things faster so that is also one more thing and it talks about transform and unveil unveil your gifts so there whenever there is a delay into something right that is not happening it's not coming faster so that means we are getting time to do something so you should try to utilize that time to transform your life for the better so how can you transform your life how can you maybe you can work on your health or maybe you can work in on your education or you can learn something or you can um, you can work on your career do something more or do do a, do a side hustle or something transform your life 
utilize that time to do something better so this is one more story i love sharing my clients personal stories because there are so many success stories when which encourages me and i hope it will encourage you as well that how things can shift in a second and how life changes in a second and it it makes it gives us hope that yes we definitely can get anything we want anything we dream for dream of so this one client she was scared because some astrologer now this is an indian client in indian in in india uh, astrology is a big thing the parents they try to find out from an astrologer that what has happened with uh, what will happen with my child right in at the time of the birth and these astrologers unfortunately some of them will give you a lot of bad news will scare you so that you will spend money you will give them money to do some puja do some ritual or uh, get some crystal from them get some stone from them some jewelry some ring from them and they this is how they are, they make money on fear it's unfortunate but some of them do it so this client of mine a young girl who was told in the past that she will never get married even if she gets married it will be a very long term marriage or oh, sorry very short term marriage because the line that marriage line is not there in a hand or something like that or it's not in a not in a stars not in a planets something was wrong astrologically with her so she came to me to get some hope to get some good news and this girl is very scared and uh, her parents are also scared and they want to uh, get her married she wants to get married obviously doesn't have a boyfriend nothing so i told her that you should start chanting that i'm happily blissfully married which is my this is my most successful technique ever as most of my clients come to me for marriage situation this one chant one mantra just works for everyone one size fits all it works for everyone so i started telling her that you chant this mantra i'm happily blissfully married in your no not out loud in your mind uh, you don't have to tell it to anyone no one needs to know about this this is only between you and the universe no one else has any business in between secondly i told her that as per the cards you're getting married in 6 months in 6 months either you're getting married or you're going to be with the person who you're going to marry you're going to know that person you're going to be with that person either you're going to date with that person or be engaged or whatever it is so in 6 months you're not going to be single anymore and i told her what will you do if i tell you that in 6 months you're going to be a bride she and she started panicking she her sh- her energy shifted completely from i'll never get married to oh my god i'll have to lose some weight i have a bit of a tummy i need to work on my skin i i, I don't take care, good care of my skin i need to start doing skin care i don't take good care of my hair i need to do that if i'm getting married in 6 months i would like to look my best i would like to do this i would like to do that i have one i always wanted to complete one one course she was in software she needed to do something which will take more than 6 months i should start doing that so that i complete it in time so that i can get more opportunities i can get a better job uh, maybe after marriage i will not get time to cut to that to do that course and her energy shifted completely from never going to get married to oh my god i have little time left to myself i have tons of things to do what happened was this change of her energy actually brought a new person in her life it didn't happen in 6 months it happened in 9 months but it did happen she did that course which took 6 months or so she got a new job she went to in a new company she met someone over there fell in love and that person and they and this girl who was never supposed to get married is married now so what changed her shift towards looking at her life change she transformed her life she transformed her life she shape shifted into someone who had that 
assumption she used to look at herself like i'm never going to get married because that is what she heard throughout her life some astrologer said it that became her story i'm never going to get married it's not in my cards it's not in it's not for me to oh my god i don't have enough time i have to do tons of things she started taking care of herself she started take, looking good she joined a gym she joined a class she didn't had time to worry earlier she used to spend hours overthinking about i am going to be lonely for the rest of my life all my friends are getting married now she is running to gym she is going to work she is doing extra courses online courses on the side she has no time to worry she transformed herself went to a new company got got a raise right she when she went to a new company she got a raise she is looking better she is earning more she is feeling better and she met someone over there with whom she they she fell in love and she got married who did that she did it so when you start seeing good and completely turn your back towards something negative your life transforms so for better so i love this one success story of my client i'm so proud of her she called me for a wedding she was getting married in chennai which is in south of india i couldn't go but she called me for a wedding and i was so happy i was in tears when i got that news i was in tears because i know how negative she was earlier so there is you can transform your life at any position at any time the earlier the better obviously so let's move forward and find out more about your future spouse enough of this oh my god sometimes i get into stories i'm so sorry pal number 1 let's move forward in your reading okay let's see ah oh, lord ganesh infinite abundance so pal number 1 you have nothing to worry about we are talking about new beginnings over here we are talking about new life over here and this is the lord for new beginnings this is the lord we hindus we hindus worship when we start anything new so this lord is for abundance this lord is for intelligence this lord is for writing this lord is for arts this lord is for any new beginning so this lord is giving you your blessing that no matter what your situation is you are going to overcome any challenge and step into a time of abundance and when we talk infinite abundance we talk about everything health wealth relationship everything whole life all aspects of your life everything will be good blessed you can pray to lord ganesh i send lot of lord ganesh mantras to my clients you don't have to chant you can even listen to them many of my clients who are from other countries cannot pronounce the the mantras so they only listen to them it's okay you don't have to chant listen to them you can pray to lord ganesh if you don't believe in uh, a particular god you can pray to universe but if you see a symbol of any we are seeing over here lord ganesh has a head of elephant so elephant is extremely lucky for you the animal elephant whenever you see the symbol of animal and if elephant or lord ganesh we see lord ganesh many at in many places one of my clients who's in norway she is obsessed with small statues small idols of lord ganesh she has it all over her house i had to tell her that you can't keep it here you can't keep it there she had it in some places which we don't consider auspicious so i had to tell her please don't keep it here please don't keep it there and she was just not aware of it but once she understood she immediately followed through she was very respectful about it so if you see lord ganesh statue or a elephant statue elephant idol or a picture or something that's your very auspicious sign that your person is nearby that things are moving forward so whenever you see this symbol see this sign say thank you say thank you thank you your for the assurance that everything is working in my favor thank you for the assurance that things are moving in my favor same with 
any animals you see over here wolf eagle a snake a unicorn these all all are very important for you especially lord ganesh or elephant these are the symbols that things are moving in the right direction and you when you say thank you to this energy whatever obstacles are there will be removed so obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing congratulations panel number 1 this is a very good sign very auspicious sign now let's move ahead and see some handmade cards to know characteristics of your person then we'll go for uh some stickers okay rich yeah abundance rich so these will be your characteristics of your person crush tender love you might have a crush on this person dm or sm online connection so social media direct messaging online might meet them online campfire stories lord ganesh is the lord of the writers authors so yeah campfire stories maybe someone might be into writing ha ah, writer storyteller <laughs> i can't make this up i can't make this up this is so much fun i love cards be it handmade be it uh, like these cards which i bought okay highly sexual passionate planner virgo virgo we already have over here so double confirmation on a virgo intense passionate possessive obsessive so yeah this person is going not going to be someone who is lukewarm but very passionate brown eyes we already have brown eye and blue eye take as it resonate i don't actually focus much on looks plus or minus 5 years there might be an age gap physician shaman doctor mender reiki therapist so we did talk about veterinarian or any kind of a healer take it as it resonates light eyes and hair yes we did see, we are seeing both eyes over here brown and blue take as it resonates looks don't matter the qualities are more important let's go for some stickers pile number 1 this was so much fun oh sorry i love sharing the stories because these success stories give assurance to anyone who's feeling hopeless to anyone who feels like it's it's never meant to happen for them okay singapore take countries as it, as they resonate either you're from that country your person is from that country you're going to live there you're going to travel there somehow that country is important for your connection take it as it resonates you might work in the company which is from that country also like dbs right singapore's bank dbs so anything like that a new for baby so maybe you will have a pet we did see a lot of animals in your reading do not worry saudi arabia cuba uae japan lot of countries ha huh? number 3 number 2 march or february is important maybe something happened in these months may is also there i think i got a lot of stickers for you pisces new sign canada a lion leo or li leo we already have a lion england popcorn so maybe someone would like to watch movies a cute dog dog also represents loyalty friendship good luck love affection positive energy root chakra i am safe i am secure spring yes we are entering spring or Yeah, spring is here, and we can, uh, and I'm going to give a spring discount, twenty five percent off on my readings. Mexico, Russia, 
Turkey, oh my god, so many countries. Are you going to travel the world? Is that on the cards? Star, go for it. I don't get so many countries usually. Fool, yes, new journey, new start, new new start, new beginning with Lord Ganesh also. The same thing. A cute baby. So either a cute for baby or a baby, something in the cards for you. You are brilliant. Terrific job. Red color, flowers, red color is prominent in your reading, maybe red color. Chameleon, so being adapta uh, adaptability. And a key to your heart. More than enough. I think I, this is more than enough. Thank. And uh, some of my clients have also asked me to do uh, stickers in their personal readings because they want their personal stickers. <laughs> it's so cute. I do that. I, I do anything my clients will tell me to do because I just love you guys. And I love uh, helping you guys. And your success stories are my success stories. So I'll, I hope this helped you. I hope you got your timeline. I hope this encourage, the story encouraged you. I wish you a lot of success and happiness. See you in my other reading. Welcome pile number two. So today we are doing a tarot timeline video in which we are going to find out when will you meet your future spouse and if you are already with your person, when is it going to move forward? When is it going to get serious? So we are, the tarot timeline is something which I came up with. We'll talk about it in just a second. First, let me see the signs. Aries, Taurus, Cancer and Pisces. These are the signs. So pick as per your, a sign in your big four, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if a number calls out to you so these are the soulmate cards as per me so this is a technique which i came up while doing a personal reading and uh, it just came as a channel a channeled message to me and that that timeline was perfect it was accurate and uh, when i got that feedback from my client i started using that technique for other clients and they those timelines also came true so when i was very sure about this technique i started doing it in public in youtube as well and they work they do work you can there is a whole playlist of this technique tarot timeline and this is this you'll only see on my channel it's so much fun it's so much different than the regular serious tarot tarot videos and uh, you can go through the time to the comments in this it works the timeline works obviously this is a general reading but if you go for a personal reading oh my god this works accurately also you can ask for anything in a personal reading like your your personalized stickers your personal stickers or something like that or your personal love notes or your personal handmade cards any additional thing you can ask me when i'm doing your personal reading this month i'm going to give a 25 percent discount uh, I did a discount in February for Valentine's Day. This month it's a spring spe spring special new beginnings discount which is 25% and I hope you will take advantage of it. I did a lot of a tons of reading in February and um, I wanted to take, a, take, take it slow in March but now April I'm ready again because I just love doing this. I love connecting with people. I love uh, helping you solve this mysteries this problems it's so much fun your success is my success and i shared a beautiful success story in pile number one if you are interested you can check that out let's see what this soulmate cards are ace of cups two of cups four of wands the lovers the hierophant the sun the star the moon the magician the empress wheel of fortune so what we are going to do is we are going to look for your timeline within a year within 12 months and we are going to look for three timelines so take what connects most perfect for you oh the world is not a soulmate card it's a success card take what connects perfect for you if you don't get a timeline in a oh this is definitely a soulmate card ace of cups that's a first soulmate card so something ended for you and your new beginning new start fresh start is happening two months is your timeline two months right two months let's see more timelines we need at least three timelines first timelines is two months so 
so it's happening within two months so either you know this person that's why in two months they're going to express their feelings for you and if you don't know this person in two months you're going to be with this person let's see more timelines more timelines yeah this is also actually the empress is a soulmate card this is a husband actually but i don't know why i didn't assign this as a soulmate card anyways so two months till now oh six months two months six months this is definitely a soulmate card two six two timelines we got either in two months in six months this is again another success card success uh, tarot timeline is a different set of videos i do love tarot timeline or soulmate tarot timeline is this success is for career i do those as well not all my clients come to me for love uh, messages many come for to me for career related messages as well the magician is a timeline so we got two months six months and 12 months so three timelines two months six months 12 months that's your timeline we are going to get more timeline when we do uh your what do you call it oracle cards also we are going to do handmade cards to get you some more information about your person and we are going to do uh, stickers as well so let's see what more information we can get about the timeline we already got 2 6 and 12 any more information about pile number 2's timeline when they will be with their future spouse 3 6 9 so one more number we got 9 so you got 2 months 6 months 9 months 12 months and 369 is a very important uh, manifestation number, right? You must have read about or heard about the 369 method. So Mother Mary is a very gentle energy you can pray to. A very loving, giving energy you can pray to. So this is one thing you can do. You can pray to Mother Mary to help you get this love faster in your life. Help, help things move faster in your life and you will be blessed so you can pray to mother mary and your prayers will be answered mother mary and unicorns are blessing you that is one confirmation number nine is also a confirmation let's see what more we can get about pile number two's timeline what is happening with pile number two who is their future spouse who is their future spouse autumn so we also got another timeline for you the autumn months whenever autumn is in your country so also release old and rest your first card itself was the world card which is ending so something has ended either you being single or you being just friends or you being just casually dating is ending and you're entering a serious relationship or engagement or uh, going to live together so something has ended and some new beginning has started so that is why you are supposed to release the old energy and step into the new so with mother mary and the raven or a crow over here i am getting an, an energy of a of a uh, ancestor who is in heaven so this might be your grandparent especially a grandmother or an aunt or an uncle someone in the heaven who loves you a lot and is trying to help you in this journey so your ancestors spirit guides are always curious or interested to know who you will end up with who you will marry because their lineage is going to be carried forward with that person you know, if you have kids then the, those kids will also be a part of your family tree your lineage and these ancestors are very much interested in that so they want to push you towards the best person possible they want to help you to find the best best match and you can always pray to your ancestor spirit guides if you know someone close to you who's in heaven right now you can pray to them or you can pray to Mother Mary to help you connect with 
this beautiful energy spirit guides ancestral spirit guides which are working very close to you these are very close to you this is not like a archangel or an angel or a, some de deity some god some divine who um, is for everyone or who's helping everyone this particular energy ancestral spirit guide is very close to you they are biased towards you you being happy you being successful you being in a healthy marriage you having kids is of interest to them it's their personal interest they want to help you so to connect with that energy you can pray to mother mary or you can directly pray to these uh, ancestral spirit guide if you know this energy in heaven already if you can feel them if there was someone very close to you who has passed and who passed away in the past they still want to look over you they still want to help you and that energy will help you bring this love or this connection this union faster you can also feed ravens or crows something which they will eat something they will like like seeds or grains or fruits or water especially water so keep some small containers of waters where you know birds will drink if you can have a bird bath do that if you can keep a bird what a dish for birds water or anything in it keep that if you feed animals like birds specially crows or any birds any birds which are there in your area this will bring more blessing or it will help you connect that get into connection with your ancestral spirit guides so feed birds and increase your chance of connecting with those spirit guides and it's a good thing to do even if you don't get anything out of it right even if uh, you don't think that this works or uh, why would uh, giving water to a crow help me connect with my late grandparent even if the, even if it making no sense to you that good deed the good karmic reward matters everything matters feeding homeless people feeding poor people feeding animals matters one success story i love sharing success stories with you guys because i have tons of them and they are encouraging they make me feel good i hope they'll give you some hope about these techniques which don't sound logical to the scientific or analytical mind but these are kind of a placebo effects on your mind right a placebo effect that this works if you take it if you believe in it it's going to work like many people they would like to go to the go to a temple or a church before something important before an interview before an exam and they feel like yes because of that one thing they did they'll get lucky and they do get lucky they get asked questions which they are prepared for because their belief is what changes it's your belief either you believe in magic or you don't believe in magic there's no in between so if you believe in tarot then you should believe in all kind of magic and make it work in your favor so i was talking about a success story i have a client she works in new she lives and works in new york she had a very bad manager she still works with that manager but now her situation has changed he would make her work a lot but would never promote her or never give her any increment she's been working with the same person for 12 years no increment no promotion it's the same thing again and again same work and most of the work depends on her 
she's it's a small company he's the owner of the company like owner of the business not a company a business her manager her boss so he didn't actually give her anything she deserves like the kind of raise the kind of promotion promotion doesn't even matter over there it's not like there are any levels or something like that any raise she didn't get any good raise so i when i read for her or when i connected with her her energy made me understand that how she doesn't have the confidence or how she feels like she will not survive anywhere else or she doesn't know any other job or she knows this work maybe she won't know other work but she does everything over there she deserves to be paid for that so i had to raise her confidence and i knew that it's not going to happen by just giving her a motivational lecture that you can do it you can win think positive and all because deep within she lacked to see the good in her she doubted herself there was a lot of self doubt there was inferiority complex and it's not easy to remove that she felt that she was lucky to survive there to have a job whereas it should be have been the other way around the boss should feel lucky to have her because she was taking care of everything so i told her that red color was prominent in a reading so just as a placebo effect i gave her a technique that if you feed something red to homeless people your luck will change you'll get more lucky you'll get the raise you'll get maybe you'll get a better job something will work out and she started doing that she started giving red apples to homeless people not a lot like she would carry 3 to 5 apples and give it to people wherever she sees them while while going to the office or coming back home and she, every time she uh, gave that apple in her mind she would say i'm getting lucky things are working for me things are changing for me i'm becoming luckier and when you give something to someone who is struggling they always smile back at you or say god bless you or something right even if you even if you help a stray animal that a stray animal will show affection and gratitude towards you so everyone who you help shows that gratitude and sends you blessings and that's so powerful so powerful to raise your vibration to get some karmic rewards karma is not only negative karma is very positive as well you do good you get good so she was saying this a lot right i'm i'm getting lucky oh my luck is changing or things are moving in my direction things are working out in my favor i'm feeling blessed whenever someone would say god bless you she would say oh yes i am blessed thank you i am blessed yeah she would say that in a not cocky not a, to that person but in in her at to herself to raise her confidence to remove that inferiority complex what happened was this the boss had a competitor open up business in his area very close to him this competitor has a very similar business so he started losing customers and this competitor approached her my client to come and join him at a higher salary 
she being the loyal person she is she first talked with her boss and her boss panicked and the boss immediately matched the salary now the boss is so scared of losing her because the competitor is right there that he treats her well he gives her additional benefits he started giving her medical and dental which was not there earlier in her package because that was offered by the competitor he is treating her well he considers himself lucky to have her the boss cannot lose her she knows the business in and out if she goes to the competitor whatever business this boss has will lose it so she really got lucky she still feeds red apples or something red when she got that news she went and she got some candies which has red wrappers i think it was twix and she started sending everyone those candies sending uh, giving it to whoever she saw on the road a child a ho- or a homeless person or whoever she want felt like giving even a couple walking hand in hand she would give them the candy she was so happy she was so happy she even called me that i want to send you some sweets i said no problem no need your the your whatever you're telling me is enough for me your success is my success i'm very happy for you so these small things where you offer water to a raven water to crows or you give something to a homeless person the small act of services they make a big difference a big domino effect when it comes to your karmic reward they matter a lot they definitely matter a lot it's like planting a seed that's the universal law seeds are tiny but that small seeds can you know become a huge tree with multiple fruits which have multiple seeds it's the law of the universe something tiny can become huge so a small act of service towards birds will change your luck will make you feel so much happier not only with the person you want to marry but also your personal life maybe your career maybe your education maybe your family maybe your parents give that a try and if it if not if when it works let me know then i would share your story also in a reading like this let's move forward i'm sorry i get carried away in these stories my success stories are so important to me oh wow lady nada heart awakening so you got mother mary and you got lady nada so a lot of feminine energy i'm getting that grandmother energy or some aunt or someone some loving motherly energy in the heaven is definitely wants to help you is looking over you heart of anything awaken to acceptance the divine love give and receive in balance give and receive in balance you give to receive start offering water or grains or anything you can to animals to birds especially birds when the weather starts getting hotter it's very hard for the birds start giving them start offering them water and see your luck change see this divine feminine energy come and help you and divine feminine energy is stronger than the divine masculine energy she is the shakti the creator very stronger than the masculine energy the divine feminine energy can create a whole new world for you a whole new life for you so the act of service being kind helping will definitely work for you let's move forward we are going to do some handmade cards to get some characteristics of your person and then we'll do some stickers as well 
सो वी हैव पेट पेरेंट या मे बी अ बर्ड फिट स्ट्रॉन्ग जेम लव्स नेचर डार्क आईज एंड हेयर वी ऑलरेडी हैव वेरी डार्क ए कलर ओवर यर मे बी समन हैज दैट बेकर स्वीट टूथ दिस ऑलवेज रिमाइंड मी ऑफ माई वन वन क्लाइंट she is in south america south uh, one of the countries in south america she is a baker and when i was doing her reading i could always i i was smelling big bakery of goods right i was smelling something like cakes or breads or very very delicious smell tasty smell and i told that her i said it's weird that when i was doing your reading i could smell baked goods and she said i'm a baker and i was like oh my god i am so amazed how energy works when i was when i connected with her energy i could smell baked goods and it's ama- it's amazing it's weird i had no idea that she has a bakery and when i found that i was like wow i'm blown away and this card also came for her some of my clients do demand their own handmade cards their own love notes their own stickers and i do that for them because i love you guys okay charming gemini one more sign gemini charming mesmerizer lover seducer romantic accomplished stable happy content loves to play loyal warm hearted strong instincts serenity graceful patient responsible forgiving balanced honest appropriate rich So this is what the handmade card says now let's go for some stickers I'm also going to start keeping some water for birds It's a good thing to do a good deed Justice Libra energy Popcorn someone might enjoy that relaxing time in front of a screen like watching Netflix or something like that hermit energy virgo so something in august september something is happening in august september and um, that is just before the autumn or maybe autumn in your area also so something is happening in august september as well you got a uh, good timelines you got many timelines take as it resonates today is a new day a new beginning new start self care is in selfish oh my god yes many of people struggle with this they feel feel that self care is selfish going to the gym is selfish taking care of themselves is selfish meditating is selfish i don't know how this weird thing comes in people's mind why if you're good if you're strong if you're healthy then everyone else around you is also happy if you're sick if you're in problem if you're troubled everyone else is going to feel that pain as well moving to another country so that might be on the cards for some of you take it as it resonates throat i speak the truth throat chakra talking speaking maybe uh, something related to throat chakra meditation will also help you if you are having some problems speaking out your feelings or something like that if communication is a problem throat chakra meditations will help key to your heart oh yeah saying something out loud is might be a problem someone might be into the media industry also or someone might have a podcast or a youtube channel or a tiktok or might be active on social media might speak out loud or might have to give a speech do a ted talk or be in the media as well a romantic date dinner date something you can look forward to i believe in you this can also happen in the timeline this looks like an important date like an anniversary or birthday or proposal or something like that mexico which can happen in your timeline a cute baby something to look forward maybe better days ahead germany take countries as they resonate they might be uh where you are from where your person is from where you will live where you will travel or that country might be important for you 
in some way like you work for a company which is in which is from that country thailand the star aquarius energy this is also the card of being lucky and we did see that that the the more you do this the more divine feminine energy will help you the more lucky you'll feel number 5 or may romantic drive may month something might happen in the month may as well being bold being assertive leo energy a new relationship this might be a complete new relationship a blossoming love life a new relationship yes confirmation on that your possum confirmation on pet germany again confirmation on germany and money rich tons of cash rich confirmation on the card rich so we got some repeats for you which are confirmation obviously so sometimes even while doing personal readings i repeat the same message again and again because my personal readings are not scripted they are channeled energy and when the spirit guides want to highlight something want to make something stick they repeat so the message is if they are repeating that means there's a confirmation that means those are important so this is what i have for you pile number 2 i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you again for being here and see you in my next one welcome pile number 3 so today we are doing a tarot timeline video if you have been here before which i'm sure you have because my pile number 3 are the people who are there with me for a long time you know already what this is if you are new here it's very simple it's something it's a very fun technique which i came up with when i was doing a personal reading for a client this came to me and uh, the timeline worked perfectly for that client so i tried it for few more clients it worked with with them as well and then when i was confident that this technique works i started doing it on youtube now i have a whole playlist of this technique and you can go in those comments and see how amazingly this technique works and how accurate timelines this one gives us so it's a fun thing to do it's not as serious as the regular tarot videos uh but it's something different right and it's fun to have something different so we have aquarius scorpio libra and gemini for you those are the signs you can either have them in your sun moon rising venus or you can or your person has them or you can go as per the number also so we have these as our soulmate cards so what we are going to do is we are going to see in 12 months when like 12 in a spread of 12 cards when we stumble upon soulmate cards which is ace of cups two of cups four of wands the lovers the hierophant the sun the star the moon the magician the empress wheel of fortune these are the cards i assigned them as soulmate cards it's not as per any tarot rules it's just something which came to me while channeling and i'm going to stick with it because it works so let's see when uh when your timelines comes up we are going for at least three timelines if we get more good if we don't get a timeline in your first spread we'll go uh, we'll start again we are also doing uh handmade cards to get some information on your person and we are also doing stickers because you guys love stickers so i gave two different success i told about two different success stories in pile number 1 and 2 if you guys are interested you can check those out because those success stories are are in, are nice are are very motivating actually from my clients what worked for them what helped them i love talking about the success stories because they are amazing it's normal average people having some kind of success in their life which is so mind blowing and so amazing this is the first timeline we got we got a lot of dark cards for you something dark negative is going on but i'm not going to go for the meaning of these cards because that's not what we do in tarot timeline we only look for the soulmate cards this is the first soulmate card we got on 11 months so that's the first timeline 11 months 
we are going to do another spread to get more timeline 11 months that's the first timeline and when we do oracle cards we'll get more timelines as well in stickers also we might will get some months we'll get some seasons first timeline is 11 months let let us get give me at least two more timelines if more better 11 months why i'm not getting a timeline for pile number three when is pile number three go going to be with their person when is it happening Oh, no timeline again. That's strange. Pile number one and two got timelines immediately. Let's do that again. Now we'll get a timeline for sure. 11 months was the first timeline. Something very dark is going on with you, pile number three. I'm going to do 25% off in personal reading. In this month april month i had an amazing february month where i did tons of reading because there was a nice discount going on so this time again i've decided to do a discount this is a soulmate card so we did get 11 months three months two timelines 11 months three months so take advantage of the offer I don't do this every month this month i'm doing it for because it's spring right new beginning 11 months confirmation on 11 months confirmation on 11 months and three months so we got two timelines 11 months and three months i want one more timeline at least three timelines we need i'm going to do one more spread take advantage of the offer we don't do this every month 25 percent off you definitely need to clear some energy this should also be a soulmate card actually confirmation on three months 11 months three months my 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 what's wrong with you pile number three what's happening something very bad is happening another soulmate card so okay we got three nine and eleven three timelines for you three nine eleven so we got we had a lot of trouble getting to those timelines so there's something which is blocking your some obstacle is there some blockage is there between you and your person something is not right and you need to solve that you need to remove that a personal reading will definitely help you a timeline is uh, sorry a discount is there so go for it remove that obstacle remove that blockage pile number one and two i got three timelines in one spread for you i had to do multiple spreads to get three timelines and all the cards were looking very dark and negative let's see what uh, what advice is there for my pile number three what the hell is going on with them what advice is there for my pile number three what's going on with my pile number three why are they so disturbed what is disturbing them closeness your unicorn is very close to you number five five is another timeline for you maybe something like you're close with your person and as you're close there was something went wrong like you had a fight or something there was a fight one more rainbow there is rainbow beyond the cloud so even if there was a fight even there was a struggle there is rainbow beyond the crowd uh, cloud so right now you're seeing the dark cloud but there's a silver lining there's a rainbow there's a pot of gold nothing to worry about things will get resolved number seven is important number five is important you got three you got nine you got eleven you got seven you got five 
these are the timelines i did two cards for you because your energy is a bit disturbed let's see pile number 3 what's happening with pile number 3 what's happening with your future spouse who's pile number 3's future spouse harness mystic power high priestess now this might sound bad i do feel like your 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 own obstacle you're actually being stubborn about something you actually being an obs obstacle in your own blessing you know something is bad for you but you're still doing it you know you shouldn't do something and you're doing it if this is your situation take this as an advice that once you let that go your something you're stubborn about once you let that go things will move in the best way possible things will automatically flow in your direction once you let that one energy go now success story is time okay i've done that in pile 1 and 2 also so you deserve a story as well a different story not everyone is getting the same story as per your situation right i have a client who is obsessed with one person and that person has made it clear multiple times that he doesn't feel the same about her but she watches every reading with the intention that he is my soulmate he is my twin flame he is the one where he has loud and clear made it made it very clear to her that no i don't feel that way i can't be your one i don't see you that way now this person believes in manifestation this person believes in law of assumption this person wants to make it happen i respect that but when the cards also told me that no this is not something which is going to happen for her and the more she stuck with this one person more she is wasting her time and energy on this one person who clearly doesn't want her the person who she's supposed to be can't enter her life she's closed all the channels because her energy and time is focused on this one person she breaks her own heart by constantly trying to decode his messages trying to analyze his what he is doing trying to stalk his uh, social media he blocked her she made fake profiles to watch him to stalk him and i felt really bad i felt very bad no one should let themselves be treated that way no matter what you are how you are bo what your situation is you should not let anyone treat you that way S steve harvey says that never let a man tell you twice that he doesn't want you it's nice that you believe in law of assumption it's nice that you believe in law of attraction but even if you listen to neville goddard lectures he says that if you stick to n this man or no man what if that man drops dead tomorrow what will you do so instead of i want to be married to a b c say i'm happily blissfully married keep yourself the center of your affirmation sent self what is that ah uh, that self thing right uh, what is it called 
that word i it's skipping my mind i know that word that when you give yourself the importance when you make yourself important things work for you so instead of making that person you the center of your universe if you start saying i deserve to be happy i deserve to be in love i deserve to be loved cherished appreciated if you start focusing your energy manifesting that either that person will change his tune and give you everything you always wanted or you'll find someone so much better that you'll completely forget about that one the about the first person it has happened with me i was also in this situation where i was trying to f- get love from someone who didn't feel the same way, way from me and thank god i understood that i deserve better and i found someone who is way much way more suitable for me way more better for me so i help that client understand that as well it was very hard she was not ready to let it go but it was only because of that resistance she was blocking someone better to enter her life then she did find someone better but it took us a lot of time to overcome that past to let go that past so it's nice to look listen to law of attraction videos and law of assumption videos it's nice to feel like you can have anything you want but if it if that thing which you want hurts you then keep yourself first i deserve to be loved i deserve to be appreciated i deserve to be happy keep yourself the priority make yourself the priority self respect i always say this i love you starts with an i i love you it's me who loves you i am the center of my universe i am important and when you do that things work in your favor you are the god of your universe that is what neville goddard says you can't make someone else the god of your universe you won't be happy in that situation you are supposed to be the god of the universe so there's something you're holding on to which is toxic for you and you know it you're smart enough to know it once you let go that things will change in a jiffy this way things are going to change for you once you learn to let go that one thing which you're stubborn about take this advice i'm saying i'm telling this to you as a friend as a well wisher if you are happy if you are successful i am happy for you let's move forward find out more about this situation this person you are getting a very very different uh, message than your pile number 1 and 2 because you are in a different situation and it's a general message so if it doesn't resonate with you please don't take it might be some other pile will resonate with you every pile got a different success story do check them out they are they are quite motivating and these are my real client these are real people average real people like you from all over the world who have overcome real challenges just like the challenge you might be facing right now saint german karma releasing so this situation you are in it's a karmic situation that's why it's hard that's why it's painful it's supposed to be a lesson a life lesson so it's time to graduate from that time to learn that lesson and move forward move beyond drama did i say anything else to you move beyond drama create your own path make room for good energy didn't i just give this example leave the da- drama behind if something hurts you if something makes you cry more than laugh let it go and make room for good energy create your own path don't be afraid don't think that i'll never find anyone else i'll never get anything else once you make room for good energy you never know this same person you're crying over might come back to you 
in a different energy or you might get someone so much better that you'll consider yourself a fool to be stuck in the past energy when you deserved something so much better brown hair brown skin black hair dark skin is important let's move forward towards handmade notes and then we'll go ahead to do some stickers as well charity generous wealthy light eyes and hair we got dark hair light eyes light hair everything is there the looks don't matter go for the qualities intense passionate possessive obsessive i think you're being possessive and obsessive you're the one seeker detached solo philosopher searcher of light yes you need to be this instead of this you need to be this caretaker kind loving warm hearted compassionate humanitarian eccentric is oh sorry success spark excitement blue eyes baker sweet tooth business minded boss take it as it resonates loyal and honest fit and strong lucky and insight imaginative clarity sign so we'll go for some stickers as well i give you, i tell you about the personal uh, reading success stories just because to let you know that no matter how difficult your situation is things always turn things always change change is the only constant only when we try to block the change that is when we get into trouble change is the constant nothing which stays the same grows right is happy only flow which whatever flows that's the only thing which is happy take countries as they resonate south korea either you're from there there your person is from there you're going to travel there you're going to live there you're going to uh, work there or a company which is from there might be important for you you might work in that company like south korea samsung is from south korea so you might work in samsung or your person might work in that company something like that so some online communication might be there some distance might be there earlier moon so things are hidden from you malaysia japan so very close to each other vietnam so we are getting a lot of asia over here so we have a cow so abundance big things big a uh, good luck something uh, coming in big quantity a cash cow right lot of money lot of wealth number 10 or october might be important camera someone might be in front of a camera or love camera love photography don't lose focus so you might be losing focus which for from what is very really important that is your happiness you're losing focus on yourself guitar might be important someone might love guitar or have uh, might be learning guitar some online money someone might be earning online money be patient a love letter i do feel this might be at a distance different cities different countries that's why we have a letter over here true love loyalty honesty big again big dream reaching for the stars going for big things not playing small not playing not going for the small things at all united states take countries as they resonate with you a soulmate energy this can be twin flame also that is why there is some hard thing in your journey even if you want to end up with the same person you have to love yourself uh, you have to love yourself you have to put yourself first trust me this works you tried the other way around 
you tried making the person the center of the universe did it work no so try this thing make yourself the center of the universe self concept that was the word which i was trying to remember self concept make yourself the your priority focus on yourself and see how things change this has helped many of my clients this has helped this is my own experience i'm very passionate about this any girl any woman who comes to me with this attitude that person treats me like shit but i still but that's my person i make them understand that your priorities are you your soul is unhappy when you let others mistreat you i had an abused client who was scared of leaving her husband because she didn't wanted to be alone forever it was a long story i'll say that i'll tell that some other time now one story was enough for you a faithful lover that's what you deserve a faithful lover grease a lot of money we i did feel that with the cash cow over here sagittarius one more sign and philippines so we got a lot of asia take it as it resonates this is what i have for you pile number 3 i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you again for being here i'll see you in my next one